What up, folks? What up? So, new guitar day happened today. And I got the case separately. This is a Gator Dreadnought acoustic case. Let's open her up. Oh, yeah. Very nice on the case. Very nice plush inside. It said it's wood. I'm assuming plywood or something like that. But this is the Fender. What is the model of it? Let me look at it here. CD60S All Mahogany. This guitar will run you about $200. For the bridge, we have Walnut. The saddle is plastic. The nut up here. The nut is plastic. Tuners are Fender die cast tuners. Nothing special. The frets, 20 fret. The scale length is 25.3. The fingerboard is walnut. It's got dot white dot inlays, very small inlays. And the frets are medium fret. But I got this, you know, just to have an acoustic that's fun to play around on and you know it's not anything crazy expensive i got it for playing you know with the family if we don't want to drag the amps out i have this to play on the color is mahogany on the inside there it has the uh x scalloped bracing the sides and the back whoops are laminate they're laminate material so it says all mahogany but this is this is laminate the neck is mahogany for sure according to the specs and the neck profile is the fender easy to play that's what they call it but this is a dreadnought just a, a great just a great beginner acoustic and I had it set up by the good folks at Sweetwater for low action with minimal buzz with Ernie Ball Phosphor Bronze Earthwoods 10 to 50. It does have a five ply binding on the top right there. It goes all the way around. The binding on the body is black. And then on the neck as well. It's a very a very nice little guitar for the money. I mean, really. It's nothing special, you know. But it's a very nice guitar for the money. And it has a very... Loud. It's a loud tone. But it's also very mellow. Like, it's not overly loud. And I think she sings really nicely. Let's do a little metallic on it. Just, just sitting here. <laughs> so now, let's get the stuff out of the case. We went over the guitar. I've already done damage to it. Oh well, whatever. Here's my strings that I use. These are what I had it set up with. Ernie Ball Earthwood Extra Light 10 to 50 Frost for Bronze. Got two packs of those. Got me an Ernie Ball strap. I'm a sucker for Ernie Ball. The Ernie Ball reversible, or uh, what do they call it? It's like a reversible capo. You can put it on either way. I got that to go with the guitar. I think it, I think it matches quite nicely. And now we have the Fender Tag. I can get this freaking thing away from it. Free online lessons. Hey, I can get some lessons, man. Maybe I should do that. I can learn how to play something sometime, you know? It says the same thing on the back. And then, of course, warning! Come on, focus for me. Cancer and reproductive harm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I have a girlfriend now, so that could be a bad thing. 
Nobody wants to have their reproductive skills harmed now, do we? All right. <laughs> Enough of that. Here's the Sweetwater Workshop card where I had it set up. It was done on uh, February 29th, 2024. By this guy here. His name's Michael. The manufacturer is Fender. The specs that they, they set everything to. Four and a half on the low E and four on the high E. Neck relief is 5,007 inch on the base side and 6,007 inch on the treble side. It's a very nice little guitar. Here's the Allen wrench for the truss rod that's right up underneath the neck here. And then we have Fender Acoustic Instruments getting started with your new guitar. I haven't even opened this thing up. And then here's the case. The case was the 28th of August, 2023. Gator cases. I really like gator cases. They're very sturdy. And they, they, they actually fit the models they're supposed to fit. And then the last thing you get is the key for the case. So you can lock her up if you need to. But yeah, I mean, you know, I had a tailor. At my last acoustic was a tailor. And, uh, you know, I, I sold that in order to get my music man, my JP. And uh, I thought... I got the hankering again to want another acoustic. And I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to order? You know? What am I going to get? I had great luck with Fender in the past. Every Fender acoustic I've ever owned has been top notch. It's been great. And this is no exception. I mean, 200 bucks. Most people would scoff at that for an acoustic guitar. Because they want the spruce top you know stuff like that the fret edges on this for two hundred dollars are absolutely perfect there's there's nothing sharp about these there might be a little grime in there but not too much the action the action on this thing i've never had an acoustic with that low of action like man i can't i couldn't even fit a, a dime under that fret if i wanted to you know and on the other side as well it's the same Super low. It would probably defret if you hit it hard enough, you know. But with acoustic, I don't play a whole lot of lead on that. I just play chords and, you know, nice little campfire songs and such. This guitar would be great for any beginner that wants to get into the guitar. Or it would be great for an intermediate player that just wants an acoustic to have to play when the power's out or something like that. And my uncle that passed away in 98, he was diehard Fender. And my dad's got his acoustic. And I thought, you know, I've been watching old home videos of my uncle back when he was alive and had that guitar. And when I got the idea of wanting another acoustic, I thought, you know what? Fender's going to be the way I'm going to go. It does have your strap buttons ready to go on both sides of the guitar. So there's no need to be drilling a hole here or in the back of your neck heel right there or nothing like that it's ready to go right out of the box the one thing i would say if you're gonna pay 200 bucks for a beginner acoustic if you're beginning guitar when you buy this guitar if you order it from sweetwater especially get a setup done on it you know get the action low Gives you some nice light gauge strings. Hear that rattle? That's how low it is. <laughs> Got any rattle on this side? Nope, but you can hear it tapping the fret. But I think she's gonna she's gonna serve me well for the purposes I want to do. You know? And I've had people tell me you should pay a little more money for your guitars, you know? Well, guess what? I have a Prestige Ibanez. Two of them. One six string, one seven string. 
have an RG550 under the bed, made in Japan. I have a Les Paul sitting right over there in the corner. And I have my Ernie Ball Music Man, American Made, JP15. I have paid money for a for guitar. But for this, 200 bucks, you really can't beat it. It's great for beginners or anybody else that would want to get a hold of something like this. And I'll do some playing on it. I'll make some videos with it. I don't know what I'll play, but we'll see. I just wanted to get this out and show you guys. I just got it today. It came to my house at 11.46 this morning. And it sat outside on my porch until I got home at 3.45 today after work. And dude, the quality of this thing for the money, you can't beat it. Like, it got it got really heated. And I opened the case long enough to inspect the guitar to make sure it wasn't broken. And it wasn't. It came perfectly fine because I got this case with it. This case will run you an extra $120. Totally worth it. Definitely. But I've let it, I've let it sit in here. I've let it acclimate to the temperature of my house for the past seven hours almost that I've been home. And she's she's really nice. The binding is five ply and it goes all the way around the body. And like I said, it's not the loudest guitar, but it's loud enough. It's loud enough that you'll be able to hear it when you're playing with other people, but it's also mellow. For nice, like, nighttime practice when everyone's asleep. And you beginners are sitting back here trying to get your chords and stuff down. You're not going to be driving anybody crazy. Because trust me, I know what it's like to not be able to get your chords down. And it, it sounds like a dying animal coming out of your room most times. But you just keep at it. and you, You'll get it. And you'll get there. The saddle's very nice for the money. I mean, it's plastic, yes, but if you don't like this, or you don't like the nut being plastic, you can swap these out for bone, or some sort of synthetic, like graph tech or something like that. Ooh, the nut doesn't seem properly seated on this side. It seems like it's shifted over just a little bit right here, because I can feel the edge of the fingerboard right there. But, I mean, you know, it's not going to affect anything. Hopefully, when I take the strings off, the neck, the nut doesn't come off. We'll see. So, anyway, guys, that's my little show and tell of the... What is this model? I just got it today, so I don't really know. The Fender CD60S All Mahogany. You can get it in black. You can get it in this color, the mahogany color. Or you can get it in natural blonde. And so I chose this because I like, I'm a fan of dark guitars. I really like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And take care of yourselves out here. Play you some campfire songs. And learn you some good old country songs on these things. It'll be, it'll be a great little starter instrument. Or even beginner to advanced players would have a great experience playing this if properly set up for your playing style. So take care, guys, and keep it metal out there.